This morning, a decades-old murder mystery partially solved. For 65 years, the story of who would come to be known as America's unknown child has haunted this community. Investigators say they now know the boy in the box was four-year-old Joseph Augustus Zarelli of West Philadelphia, discovered back in 1957. He was found beaten to death, malnourished and nude, wrapped in a blanket, and left in a cardboard box on the side of the road. In his very short life, it was apparent that this child experienced horrors that no one, no one should ever be subjected to. Joseph's body was exhumed in 1998. Officials collected DNA and gave him a proper burial. But it was a DNA sample taken in 2019 that led to a major break. Our top match was like a second and a half cousin, second cousin was third cousin. They were able to then connect Zarelli, born January 13, 1953, to his mother. Police then found siblings and used the DNA sample and birth records to make the match. Misty Gillis is a forensic genealogist who has spent the last three years working on this case, now bringing her daughters with toy cars from the 50s to Joseph's grave. I've actually um, known about this case since I was a child. I want to have his story told. I want him to be out in the world with, you know, to do him justice. While this is a major development, this case is far from being solved. We may not make an arrest. We may never make an identification, but we're going to we're going to do our darnest to try. Police have not revealed the identity of Joseph's parents, both deceased or his siblings, but vow to solve this murder mystery. Joseph will soon have a dignified resting place with plans to etch his name on his headstone, an unknown child no more. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.